Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Zabrik. Under the patronage of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the third week of falconry and hunting competition continued today. The organizing committee announced the postponement of the competitions of Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa Cup to Thursday due to the wave of dust and wind forced today. The falconry competition is held under the cups of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the cups of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The fourth week of the competition will also be held next Thursday. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the second edition of the International Late Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa Arabian Horse Beauty Competition continued today. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pride and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for supporting the competition and aiding in its success. Success, affirming that the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, led by Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, is keen on presenting the competition in the best manner. His Highness congratulated all participants in the competition, noting that the kingdom is known for this sport, which receives great attention from owners and stables. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended the efforts of the High Organizing Committee, led by Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid, and the Organizing Committee, led by Dr. Khalid Ahmed, and all the members.
At the invitation of the Council of Representatives Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, a delegation from the Egyptian House of Representatives will visit the Kingdom of Bahrain led by Speaker of the House of Representatives Dr. Ali Abdul Al Sayyid Ahmed from January the 20th until the 23rd. The Egyptian parliamentary delegation will hold a number of meetings with authorities in the legislative and executive branches in Bahrain. This visit comes within the framework of coordination and joint parliamentary work between the Bahraini Council of Representatives with its Egyptian counterpart and to consolidate fraternal and friendly relations between the two countries. The visit also affirms the great role of parliamentary diplomacy in coordinating joint stances between the two countries in all international parliamentary forms to support the issues of the Arab nation and achieve the aspirations of the Arab people. Under the implementation of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, during the government forum of 2017 held under the patronage of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, at the initiative of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, to hold workshops to determine mechanisms and identify the priorities of the Government Action Plan 2019-2022. The Deputy Premier and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs, Jawad Salim Al Harayid, announced the convening of the two coordinating meetings on the government performance and the legislative themes of the government action plan will be held on Monday and Tuesday respectively. The relevant undersecretaries, assistant undersecretaries and directors will attend the meetings which are preparatory for the workshop on the legislative and government performance themes to be held on January 28th under the Deputy Premier's Chairmanship. The workshop will be the second in a series of workshops devoted to developing government action plan mechanisms and priorities. The first workshop held last November under the chairmanship of the Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa tackled GAP's infrastructure, financial and economic theme, while the third workshop to be chaired by Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa will be held in February and will be devoted to GAP's services and environment theme. Masters International held its second edition of its Trainers and Coaches networking event, bringing together trainers under one roof to share their experiences, challenges and successes. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. Masters International held its second edition of the Trainers and Coaches Network. The conference explores the latest and greatest insights, tools and techniques in coaching and training, tailoring at an audience of trainers, coaches, training managers, learning and development managers. We're here today to figure out solutions how to make the world a better place to live in in the business world, in the society, in our behavior, in our culture, and go on. So we're a bunch of professionals here sharing ideas, sharing their thoughts, uh, sharing their experience, and that's what about the event itself. So it's a beautiful event, and I invite anyone to, who would love this field, who likes to develop, who likes to be positive and add a, a beautiful solutions in this world, to attend these kind of events. It's a network event, so we socialize, we you know, share ideas, we share contacts, that's one part. Second part is we have very beautiful, valuable experience, information that we will share with each other. And the third part is we come out with projects, but every month we have it in a different theme with different, different people, different topics, and different projects. The conference sessions were facilitated by field experts and include series of lectures, workshops, local success stories, and a panel discussion highlighting recent enhancements, challenges, and trends, and KPIs paving the path towards a successful professional training and coaching journey. We believe that all types of human capital development is some, something essential. All organizations should take care of, of their employees and their human capital as they are the cells that create these organizations. Uh, we believe such a networking event uh, is helpful for the community at the same time as uh, for the private sectors and enterprises working in Bahrain. Uh, coaching and mentoring and training is something, something essential and we will always support such kind of initiatives. 
The coaches and trainers network uh, is a good experience because we as a trainers and coaches, we would like to meet with other coaches and uh, trainers to see what's new, what's happening uh, to the training and coaches in Bahrain or even in the other GCC countries. Uh, it's a nice place together to share experience, to know what's happening now. And uh, I'm really excited actually, and it was a nice experience also, even in the first uh, network. And today was the second network and it was excellent actually. The event aims to navigate through the kingdom's training and coaching environment, connecting providers of personal, professional and organizational development services. The second edition of the trainers and coaching event was another successful event providing a great space for discussion and knowledge sharing in the dynamic field of training and coaching. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.